Below is the sample space for rolling two dice. So for the first die, which is the lighter color one here, there's six possible possibilities, all the way down to six. For the darker one here, we also have six possibilities. So if there's six ways for the first one and six ways for the second one, then six times six, equaling 36. So there's 36 possibilities how two dice can be rolled. So in this first example, let's find the probability of rolling a sum of six. So the probability of rolling a sum of six. So if we look at all of our possibilities, let's go through and figure out which ones give us six. So I'm going to start in the first row here. One and five, that'll work. So that's a six. In the next row there, the two and the four. In the next row, the three and the three. So notice that it's starting to move at a diagonal. Four and two, five and one. So there's one, two, three, four, five ways to get a six out of 36 possibilities. So five out of 36. So if we divide that out, we get 0.13 and then the eight's repeating. So this is about 0.139 or about 13.9% chance that you'll get a sum of six. Let's say we want to get two different numbers. Let's say a seven or an 11. So a sum of seven or 11. Okay, so let me circle the ones that those are. I'm going to use a different color, blue. So a sum of seven or 11. So in that first row there, the one in the six is seven. Again, notice how they move at a diagonal. So one, two, three, four, five, six ways to get a seven. And then for the 11, that doesn't happen until the fifth row, which is the five and the six. Should be a five. And the six and five. So there's two ways. So all together is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight ways. Again, out of the 36. Okay, so eight divided by 36, we have point two repeating. So this is about 0.222, which is about 22.2%. And then this third example we have is find the probability of not rolling a sum of four. So the probability of not a sum of four. That's a lot of possibilities. So I think it might be easier if we actually find the probability of getting a sum of four, I think that would be easier. So let's look through and, and use maybe green for these. So the sum of four, starting in the first row is one and three, and then a two and a two, and then a three and a one. So there's one, two, three ways to get a four out of 36. So if three of them are 36, then 33 of them are not, or three of them are four. So then 33 of them are not four. This is an example of using complements. So if I want to find not sum of four, this is the same thing as one minus the three over 36, which is going to be 33 over 36. So then 33 divided by 36 is about point, or is 9.916 repeating. So about 0.917. So about a 91.7% chance that you're not going to get a 4. 